Well, finally got this in. Hold it up, son. P drive made its way in. Turn it down here. Come down the roller. Finally got that in. Some flares. And was waiting on the puller. And stopped and picked up my torque wrench. So hopefully tomorrow we can get that installed and get this bad boy on and get some results on the before and after. All right, I got everything set out. I got my primary puller, the P drive. I'm gonna throw these flares on, torque wrench. What I wanna do real quick though is I'm gonna get the X3 out and uh, look real close at the clutch engagement RPM and get a, a uh, pre-recorded version of what it sounds like at the 5100 to 5300 RPM where the loud clutch rattle is. And uh, hopefully with the windscreen on the GoPro, which I'm just gonna freehand for this, we'll uh, do a good job of uh, keeping the wind noise out and you can kind of hear the clutch because I'm really anxious to see how much quieter it is after getting it on. So let's get that done and then I'll start working on installation. All right, letting it warm up just a touch. I did get these two inch seat risers installed. It does give it a very much upright sitting position, but frankly, I kind of like it versus being so low. Uh, I'm just gonna freehand this, so let it warm up a second. And we'll, uh... Okay. So it looks like engagement's around 2100. It grabs at 2100 to 2150. So let's test this with noise. Nope, oh, got to throw the old seatbelt on. Get her up to about 5100 RPM. There it is. So that's what we're hoping to cut down a little bit of. So let's get back and get to working on tearing it down and uh, get the results well I finally got it off one the one a old the dodge I've always said if you can afford always get the biggest thing you can get so then you ain't got to worry about it when you need more power the old trusty mid torque Milwaukee I love Milwaukee tools but I wish I would have bought the high torque I wound up having to do the bread trick but I finally popped the old primary loose I'm sitting here right now cleaning the bread out the tweezers and picks on the old one so i'll keep it as a spare but i had to let it put it on setting three and, and i had to hold it for quite a while before it finally popped the primary loose but either way i got loose but in my excitement i uh thought i was gonna have to fold the shock out and i forgot i didn't have the weight of the machine off of it so I've got my bolt pin, so I'm having to run and borrow a buddy's jack that's tall enough to lift the whole machine up and uh, extend the shocks <clears throat> so I can line it back up and I can get my P drive, throw it on there and get it torqued down the spec and uh, throw the flares on it. So, so far, so good. All right, I got a hold of me a jack that I could reach it up higher with, jack higher. Got the shock bolt realigned. I decided to go ahead and do some maintenance while we was here. I just got my air compressor and blew out the secondary really good, blew the cover out and went ahead and uh, blew out the uh, old primary really good and keep it as a backup in case I ever need to use it. And now we're fixing to get the P drive installed. Got everything torqued down. I, 
89 foot pounds is what I did. I'm gonna drive it around the yard about three or four times and retorque it one more time and get the cover and stuff back on it and reconnect the sway bar and that'll be that. This is exactly what you want that to not be spinning. So, so far so good. And then we'll give her a test drive down the road and back. All right, everything's put back together, covers on, everything's done. And it's time to see. But the other one we was engaging in, I believe it, what was it? 2100, 2150, right along 21, 2150. So, I felt that at 18, idles 1450 to 500 it feels like it's grabbing around maybe 1800 so definitely feels like it's grabbing a couple few hundred rpm lower much smoother engagement so let's see he's down here and let's check out the noise it's already a lot quieter i'm gonna get it up there to 5100 5300 and we're gonna see what she sounds like quieter that is so much nicer yep that engagement is now gone the rattle is gone so if you're on the fence about upgrading to the P drive I highly recommend it it uh that 5100 rpm rattle is completely gone I'm thoroughly impressed. It's uh, a lot smoother engaging, uh, a lot quieter, just a smoother overall clutch. And I got it to my door for, I think it was 1185 or 1085. So they were all right about two grand, I think, when they first come out. So $1,000 for it, not too shabby. Anyways, thanks for watching. Y'all be safe.